Right, so we were on Riman at the top of Pro School for about two court date. They take us back to Spanish Town, and then they take us to back to Stone Hill. Because Stone Hill have three different juvenile facility for boys. There is Stone Hill Approved School. There is Homestead Place of Safety. And there is Security Block. Security Block St. Andrew Juvenile Remand Center. Otherwise known as Security Block. Alright, so we then take us to court of Spanish Town now and book okay, care of security block. See? We have security block for a couple more court dates. Till them, not a time, because my child was minor, I ended up down a homestead place of safety. Yeah, and I've been going to court. I actually go to court 19 times altogether. 19 times I went to court, and one day I went to court. Last day I went to make the 19 because of my father in the court. So my father now. I have condition now when I either send me to school or I'm going to learn trade. So, go home with my father back and send me. So, I'll know. I'm not get to. Well, I know. And I didn't get to reach Bagwak to visit Auntie Gurley. So, when the woman said, Time and patient, so what is time and patient? Be light. When be light the next morning now. I should say she had got Linstead. Go down to Linstead town there and we'll dear. She has drink in our bar in front of the market and one man that trying to take her away. And me in the punch out every morning me have in the juke box. I'm not thinking where is the next scent coming from. And I don't even reach my destination. Woman are responsible for me. Instead of me figure out and find my way. I don't even know where I go. Because I'm going to hear so my auntie that, that bag walk. Right? And she used to take care of me up in a hen field. Place named Garden Hall. She will come out since when I come out. She came in first basic school. She may live with sin. So now, I miss her sometime and I want to find my auntie near so she'll have a bag walk and so they go with the woman for the bus. As you. See? So that day now, punch up my money in a jute box and when the woman and the man ready for going at the evening now, they catch a country bus. I go up on the bus to um, I go up, up, up guys in where the bus I go. And when the bus conductor come on with fear, I don't know fear. And they don't pay for me. And then, when they come on for the bus now, the conductor will on for me, drive, take me, take me away to the bus. And carry me up at this and jump off for the bus. And, Mark which part then come off and run and walk and go back there and people then still ignore me because they're not responsible for me. I mean I want to let go. I mean I see some need for Lego, but I just realize no. So I have to figure out my way now to head back at time and patient which part I left my bag in the house with the woman. When me and the woman go the night before. 
Because I don't feel a place neither. He's a jockey, but a brother, a, a man who remember his name, I remember if he didn't know his name. But there's some apprentice from the track where she knew. She will go there the night. And I then left my bag. So I go back up, you know, and I'm up there for about two, three days around the place, a roast breadfruit and sawfish and sitting. And till one night the man come and tell him when we get there. And anyways, he left and go back a, a truck. And the one day I go down a Linstead now and hungry and mash me up. I see some man in a one bar a drink and I got the bar and I say, hey sir, you know nobody want somebody to learn trade? And then laugh. Man, I spewed white rum and laugh after me. So one of them say, yeah, you want to learn trade? And I say, yes sir. And them say, all right. I'll have a show for you come in the morning. And when the man leave, the man came behind me yard. I said, tomorrow morning, come right here, so I'm going to trade. So by that time, now I realize that the train line in the back of my house. And I walk go down further, I see the train station. So I realize that, this I say, I must get up off of the train. If I have the train from the station, I must get up off when I reach back I'm also when Mark wish my mother up off now. And I was sleeping on the train. And when the train I go in the morning, I up off down the cars. If I go back a time and patient now, kinda of rough. In the night there, I'm hungry and time and patient to distance for walk, you know. I was going to go, to go come back down there now, you know, reach back down there for 8 o'clock. So I'm going to sleep in one of the coaches, in the train. And believe me, that night, two times I could have dead that, 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 that before day, by time, for that day. Yeah. So I wake up with a big flashlight in my face. And I can't see nothing on a big gun. My man said, where are you? Who are you? Where are you? I explain, say, if you go learn trade with a man down a, down a Grove Road, sir, and, and, and a time and patient me live, and I, and I couldn't make it to me, so I go sleep and, 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 and go down there, man. And the man said, man, I beg you, do. Go and sleep. Go and sleep, but nobody don't do this again. You could have, could have taken you, you know, man. The man said, don't do this again, man. I beg you not do this again. See? All right. Daylight now. Hop the train. If you go hop off down at the man yard. So when the train has passed the back of the man yard, so the grass them on the train line just a bow like that. Just a bow. I was ever to hop off of that train. I would be in pieces. Yeah. Yeah, man. So the man now have me and me out there. I'm trying to remember his name while we talk. Vernon. So Vernon, bless up yourself. The man of my yard, they teach me this woodwork. Woodwork him do. See him? They teach me the fundamental of woodwork him. So I learned to read the tape measure, sharpen the chisel and pull up the plane and sharpen it and fit it up back. All of them things are the fundamental of woodworking, you know. So I was there for a while and evening come and play around with my son or two there. But I can't remember. 
and there is two other youth across the street. The one named Peter I mean, or Tony. But we used to play at evening time, you know, play cricket and all things, and follow them go bush and all them things. That's why I mean, at the man yard, we lived there you now. And I've seen I said wood workshop. And it's like I'm in the office, and I sleep. You understand? But his wife never really liked me, because the man had gallus. And it's like the woman knows that me know. know what the man do. So he just wants to me now to tell her. But you can't tell her the man business because of the man. Team because we wouldn't tell her the man business. And the man. While I make, make, to be, make, make, make me do that, you know? The man can't be there. So. Anyways. One time he gave me a tell her to go buy, buy my shoes. And to the market to buy more. One of the market canvas crepes. It ain't too light. It's a little cheap. So I never too pleased and the man never too pleased neither. So the man had to come for me. Like, she had to have a belly for me, you know? Really, never really too fun of me because of what she knew that, you know, me know. But these two guys where I work with, it, they live in front of which part Sir Vernon live now. Them father, a prison warrior, a Spanish dog. And me all of a sudden hear say, me I ask the boy them for key for going at them shop, for go broke their shop. We the shop where we in every day, one of them, them selling at the shop, the boy them, you know, and we in at the shop every day, I rock a ramp and sit, you know. And why would I want to go to the shop and ask him for the key to go to the shop? Yeah? But anyways, plan them plan for get me out of the area. See? So, them, them claim that they don't know somebody where they want somebody to work. So, there's an inspector by the watch you in there with the China woman at the supermarket. Call him inspector and they live on a great pond on a back road, on a back lane there. And when I watch him, I used to hear about him. See? When he came out of the station, say inspector, my inspector of police has punished him. And he would have picked me up for the work with him. And he moved here from Spanish Town too. Sent on to watch me. So they carried me up at the station and got left me up at the station and they picked me up. If somebody did wait there with me and they picked me up. I carried me to watch you right back to which part of the deck the year before. And the preacher man would never send me to school. See? And two, three weeks now, when man them forget to me the day, with the inspector yard now, we're going to go see some more man. I feed him cow and goat and hog them. We're going to chop, we're going to cut grass and load up in van at the time and feed the animal them. But we did the two, three weeks, and when pay bill, like, every man a murmur, because he's like, he don't want to pay no man. And, the man and my mom start murmuring now. Because I don't get paid, I don't get one paid for the two or three weeks for the day. Of, by the time I find out, I know me know the place and I did that place before. The man decided to say, I can't back where I get me from. And now he doesn't pay me. So I can't back where I get me from. And the man, so I think jump in and jeep. Having a big gun for him, I go back into the jeep. And we reach all the mount, up a mount for us, I book hill and stop our shop and I try to run me out of the back of the jeep like he won't let me go up on the road. See? And 
still go back in the Jeep. Still stay in the Jeep and the man carry me back down at the Linstead Police Station. And run me out of the Jeep at the police station. And me now, no no say, me no say nobody no definitely come for me. Cause nobody responds to me. But for some reason, it's like me can't move. And me stand up outside. They stand up outside and uh, they put me. No, they put me. When they came me at the station, I don't know what I said to, said to them. And they have me sit down there. But when the shift changed now, shift changed now and when come on, man, they will come on duty now. I don't know what to do with me. Nobody now come to me. I explain, but then I figure out what my explanation because nobody not really are comfortable. So them, so them hold me. I mean, I a juvenile, somebody have to respond to me. That is how I get by to the first time. Listed. Police station.